I'm going to show you how to use a DMM to find out the power consumption of a BLE low power device. The device I'm using here is a commercially available battery powered anti loss tracker. It uses a CR2032 button cell battery and communicates through Bluetooth 4.0 or a Bluetooth low energy standard. By the way, it advertises six months of battery life. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the device operation in terms of power consumption or current consumption. Well, first of all, let's power up the device. In this case, I'm powering the device through a power supply. I set the power supply to three volt. And all I need to do here is push the button to turn on the device. Now the device is powered up. So what does the current consumption waveform look like in this active state? Well, we'll do that on this DMM, DMM7510 graphical sampling DMM. Let's first pause the acquisition by pushing continuous and select manual mode, and that goes into the single trigger mode. Now I'm going to select DGI for digitized current. I'm going to change the buffer size to 1 million. So push menu, reading buffers, capacity, change that to 1 million. Now let's go to the home screen. Swipe the screen on the bottom. Change the sample rate from one mega samples per second, which is the maximum what this DMM can do, to 100K. And change the count to 1 million to match the buffer capacity that we just set. So with 1 million readings, that's 10 seconds of data at 100 kilosamples per second, or 10 microseconds per sample. Also, let's check out the range. The default range right now is 1 amp. Since this is a low power device, I can lower it to 100 milliamps, which is well enough to capture the peak current that the device is operating at in the active state. Now the settings are complete. We'll go to graph. Push menu, graph. We'll push the trigger key to begin the single acquisition. There it is. It captured 10 seconds of data. You can pan left or right. You can zoom in or zoom out. So let's just zoom in to take a look at the BLE advertising signal in detail. We'll just pick this one. So you can clearly see the BLE signal in terms of power consumption or current consumption. You can push the sparse scale to return to full waveform view.